there has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello, Internet. And this is my spoiler-free review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're fine. I won't spoil anything in the movie. Um, so you're in good hands. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So The Force Awakens, it's it, it starts off really, really great, man. Like From the opening a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and then the John Williams score... It's it's fantastic. It's just exciting to see, and you don't oh, really think of like, oh yeah, movie's great. You know, I was excited from seeing from having to read in front of the movie, but you did because it's Star Wars. It's it's something that you you, I, you miss you you missing those kind of things, especially where it's a trope from from your movies, and, and it was great. Um, aside from that, the characters were fantastic. Daisy Ridley as Rey, she was awesome. She's one of my favorite characters right now. I think she did a fantastic job being as Rey. And she showed that she's a great actress. Uh, and for a first major role, she nailed it. For uh, John Boyega as Finn, he was, he was really good. I mean, uh, he, he was funny. Uh, he, he was serious when he had to. And you could see he, the guy was having fun, man. Like, I swear, there were some parts of his dialogue, and I'm going to say which one it was, where you could see, like, Dude, are you actually like acting right now, or are you seriously just saying that because you're in Star Wars? Um, it it, just, it really feels like you feel the energy in, in you first in the in the theater. The energy is felt. Did you feel the force of fandom and fanboyism and just nerdgasms all over the place? And you know the the movie itself is just it's just great. Kylo Ren was an amazing character. I love Kylo Ren. He's complex. He's not just a one-off villain and you know you killed off at the end of the movie you know just because yeah we're gonna bring on we're, pr we're prickling this thing no he's a good character that's gonna be staple of the probably a staple of the trilogy and he's amazing he's complex he has a reason to do what he's doing and that's amazing i love that i love a villain that has motives and that you can see and kind of relate to and while you don't agree with what they're doing you could see where they come from and that's great. That's what a great villain do. And that's awesome. Like I, I love seeing that. It, it's, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, and his lightsaber. Oh man, they show you. They will show you that that hilt means business. All I'm gonna say about that. Han Solo and uh, General Organa or Princess Leia. Some of you like to know her. They were great too. I mean, they they reprise their roles perfectly. And. For everything they did, great passing of the torch uh, for these new characters. And I feel that they were not overutilized. They were like, you could really tell that they were focusing a lot on the new characters. They were using the old characters a little bit, but they were just using them to kind of help the story move forward instead of, you know, making it like, oh yeah, it's just a movie about them and the new characters. Yeah, we'll worry about them later. No, it was, it was a story about the new characters. The new characters shining here as well as them and, and it was great um, now I hear a lot of complaints from the story that it is too similar to A New Hope and you know it has some things from the other uh, original movies but I don't mind that I think that's a great thing to do if you're gonna borrow elements from a movie why not borrow from some of the most beloved films of all time right really it's like Lion King borrowed from Hamlet and nobody cared about that. So, <laughs> now, like, like really, I, I, I love what they did. It was a great reintroduction to the Star Wars universe. It showed everybody, thanks to that re-threat, that, you know, why Star Wars is great and why people love it and why people keep going back to it. And I think that was absolutely fantastic. It was, it was, it was necessary. And it makes you more excited because then, you know what? Maybe episode 8 and episode 9 will break the mold and be very different just because you've already introduced this thing people are excited for it now now let's let's bring in some new things let's see what let's experiment a little bit and see what people like and that that's going to be exciting i'm excited this movie made me more excited for episode eight than i ever thought it would be and, and i mean it, it was great uh i love it this movie it's one of my favorite star wars movies it's second tied with a new hope and just behind the uh, empire strikes back it, I think it's that great. I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. 
just because I think it's really good. It's not perfect. It has some problems. Uh, but I don't care because I had fun with it. I had a lot of fun with the movie and that's what really matters. I go to the movies to have fun. And if I was having fun with the movies, I will hide it, rate it high because I liked it. I enjoyed it. And that's all that matters. And really, like, you, you should too. Just go in, enjoy it, and have a good time. Because it's one of those movies where you're just going to have a good time. And the whole family would enjoy it. Anyways, guys, that was my little thing on, on The Force Awakens. We will be posting a spoiler review later on. I'm going to be talking to a friend about that. And we're going to be talking spoilers for a while. So, this is, so you know, you want that. Wait for that. Um, we're also going to make a top 10 list of video games and movies. Spoiler alert, Star Wars is in it, somewhere, not going to say where, and uh, yeah, that's it guys, thank you guys for watching, and may the force be with you, you will like this video, you will subscribe to this channel, you will follow us on social media. <laughs>